I'm Stephen Rhodes, I'm 26. I'm a glass blower, born in Boston, but I've been living in Burlington, Vermont for almost a decade. I was always an artist, uh, so I guess it was really just finding the medium um, that drew me in. I mean, not gonna lie, I was definitely a collector of glass uh, before I was a glass blower, uh, but I was an artist long before I, have, I even knew what uh, a piece was. <laughs> What's my favorite thing about glass? Uh, possibilities. That's definitely that's definitely up there. Uh, the amount that you can do with it as a medium, you know, and with it by itself as a medium. I can build a wooden sculpture and paint it, but I'm using wood and I'm using paint, and we really can do anything. The industry is super young, and every day I feel like we see innovation uh, come out of the community. So I took a year off of school, I went back home to Boston, and I annoyed the shit out of a glass blower. Uh, enough till he brought me on as a teaching assistant. I didn't get paid, uh, but I could work for free. I worked there for about a year, came back up to Burlington, worked as a production artist for the Burn Gallery uh, for about a year and a half, and then decided I needed my own place. Um, and I needed some more freedom. So I built uh, my first studio in Williston, uh, Vermont, uh, by myself. Uh, I was there by myself for, for a while. Um, and uh, it grew, and at one point we had 10 artists working there. Uh, my very first like personal torch is right here. I keep it by me all the time, <laughs> at all times. It's always within arm's reach. Um, no, this is actually my first torch in all seriousness. It just happens to be under the bench right now. Um, I loved it. It was great. Very, uh, very rough mechanically. Uh, it's not as fancy or complicated as some of the professional torches that we use now. Uh, but it got the job done. And I made a lot of really awesome stuff on that, on that bad boy. Um, they last forever. I mean, it's like it's like a good car. If you just keep, you know, take care of it and clean it, clean it regularly, it will last forever. And that's why I still have it. Some head shop owners, some gallery owners, just aren't going to like your work, um, and you're not going to change that opinion of them. So, you develop a relationship. If they want to buy your work, you sell them your work. Uh, after that relationship, you know, is, is, is strong, you can call, you can email, usually just make sales uh, through those means. Uh, and it's happened to me. You can, you know, sell glass really well in a certain area. If the head shop owner doesn't like you, they're not going to buy your glass. We get to create our own schedule. You know, we're make, we're creating, we're making art, uh, and paying our bills, which you couldn't ask for uh, anything more. An, unexpe an unexpected perk, um, the challenge. And I know that sounds weird as a perk, but it's really challenging. Like it's it's honestly probably one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. Because when you fail, when you fail, I mean, you, you pay for that failure. You know, emotionally, uh, you know, financially, you know, and, and as an artist, you're always torn between trying to find yourself and trying to find a paycheck, which is the hardest challenge I think you can face uh, in any form of employment. Do I enjoy what I'm doing? Can I make enough money to do that? And I, I needed somebody to hold down Jersey.